Thank you. Now on nine, a woman fought for her life. Police say this man attacked her in his Rowan County home and was plotting to kill her. And investigators say that's not all the suspect planned. Channel 9's Rowan County reporter Hannah Getz is live for us right now in China Grove. And Hannah, this is certainly one of the most disturbing cases we've seen in some time. Erica, you're absolutely right. Like you said, details in this case are very disturbing. It happened right along this roadway, which is actually called Peaceful Lane, but it was anything but peaceful on Wednesday afternoon when that young woman had to run for her life down this roadway. Now, I did talk to the person who picked her up right in this area, possibly saving her life. She didn't want to show her face or use her name like many others in this area. She said she's scared. I looked right at her in my rearview mirror and I was, she doesn't look good. This woman was driving down Peaceful Lane on Wednesday when she says she saw a young woman walking quickly with bloody hands. I said, are you okay? And she was shaking and crying. Um, so she said, yeah, I think I'll be fine. And I said, she, and I said, you know, what happened? She was like, the guy in the house down there just stabbed me. Investigators say that guy was 24 year old Hunter Nance who lives nearby. While trying to help the young woman, she says a car pulled up behind them from the direction of Nance's house on the dead end street. We saw a vehicle pulling up and it stopped and we saw the headlights and she said, I think that's him. So I said to her, get in the car, just get in the car. She says she drove the young woman to a Circle K where they saw police in the parking lot. And that's when disturbing details started to emerge. Deputies say Nance and the victim met that day at the gas station decided to hang out later and went to Nance's house. They say inside the home, Nance locked the door and attacked her with a knife. She fought back and ran. If we had not picked her up, if that was him coming up the road and we had not picked her up, I don't know what would have happened to her. But investigators say Nance made it very clear to them what would have happened had she not escaped. He allegedly told detectives he wanted to kill her for thrill and described gory details of wanting to mutilate her body and leave it for passing cars to see. They say he also mentioned cannibalism and a desire to kill other people. I was in shock. You know, I see him on the road, driving down the road here and stuff, but you know, you'll just wave and he'll wave back at you. People who have lived by Nance and his parents for 20 years tell me this is not something you expect from a quiet neighborhood filled with young kids. I know. It's, it's, it's something I'm, I'm, I'm still running through my mind how it happened, why it happened, and just luckily, luckily, and thankfully, that girl got away. And as I mentioned before, people here are scared after learning all of those details in this case. Now, I checked the courthouse today, and Nance did not have a criminal background. He's charged with false imprisonment, assault with a deadly weapon, and first-degree kidnapping. Live in China Grove, Hannah gets Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Hannah, thankfully that other woman was going by and, and, and stopped to help. Thank you for that.